everyone welcome back to my YouTube channel I'm Al and in this video I want to do a helpful tutorial for you that should hopefully take maybe less than five minutes to let you teach you how to make a basic YouTube video using DaVinci Resolve and this is one of the best and free softwares for editing videos on the internet this video has been used in feature films like Star Wars Avatar and there's a whole list of them like La La Land, Pirates of the Caribbean, Robin Hood, Spectre, Deadpool, Jason Bourne, and the list goes on. Anyways, this video is not about that. This video is about teaching you how to make and use this program to make simple videos, especially if you wanted to start a YouTube channel, if you wanted to start importing VODs from Twitch to YouTube, or if you wanted to get better skills. This is an entry-level video, and it is literally five steps. Download and install open and import your files, cut and edit, save and upload to YouTube. It is that simple and I will show you how to do it. But begin, go to Blackmagic Design. I'll put the link for it in the description and then you'll scroll down to the bottom of the page. And it did take me a few times to find it. DaVinci Resolve 17. And if you scroll down, download now and it says it is free right here. This video, if you click it, I've already downloaded and installed it. The free version is extremely well. You don't need to worry about the paid version until you like decide you want to upgrade. I've been using this program for two years. This version just came out, so it is still in beta. So I downloaded the beta 17 so I can make this video. So it's the most up to date for you. You can download version 16 if you like, and they should be finalizing beta 17 in the next couple of weeks. And hopefully after this video is live, it will be done. Download for your file type for your computer operating system. I have downloaded it. So when that is done, I will just quickly put on my headset so I can actually hear what I'm talking about. So once this has been installed, I'm going to have you pause the YouTube video right here. If you wanted to follow along, you will have to restart your computer, which could take you however long. And then once you finish installing, keep on watching for a step by step on how to do the rest of this video. I figured that was an important step that I missed that I should have probably added. So now just keep on walking, watching. Now, once that has been installed, you will get a pop-up that looks like this for a first time use. You can see like these are some of the past videos that I have made on my YouTube channel. Some of them I do not have the original files for anymore, but I started my YouTube channel making videos using Windows Media Maker, Windows Media Maker Live. So like I have like very little background knowledge in it. So this video is a very entry level video to make. I'm going to make a new project. I'm going to save it video, how to make a video, create project and the program will open. So now it looks like this. It is a lot to look at. I just want to make sure my audio is casting my microphone and you see everything. Now on the top left, I will do like a quick entry on the left is like your media files where like the clip that you made, if you made a video with your cell phone, you would drag that file there. And then on the right will be where the video is and the bottom is a timeline. If you look at the very bottom beside the clock, I'll just move my camera. So like right there, it says media cut, edit, fusion, color, fair light and deliver. We will worry about this in a second. But first, if you do want to make your video, you don't want to save it on your computer. You want to send it direct or you want to send it directly to go to the top left corner, DaVinci Resolve, preferences, scroll down to the side and there should be a tab that says internet accounts. You can link yours if you like. And I haven't done any other changing. If yours looks a little bit different than mine, you may want to, well, I'll just import a file quickly so we get a better idea of what I'm looking at. So let's put this video, I'm importing a file that has a different frame rate. So I will opt to change this because all of my videos I record at 1080p 60 frames per second. And I will import two videos, that way I can do a little bit more with them. 
I'm now switching, I drag those files there. I switch to the edit tab. I will move one file to the timeline at the bottom. And now this looks really overwhelming. So at the top corner, I'm going to turn my inspector off for now. At the bottom left, beside where it says video one, you may see a toolbar that's just like right there. If you see that, or if you don't see that at the top left corner, below the file bar, it says effects library. Just click that on and that will help you see some of the video effects that you may want to add later. Okay, so now that I have a video, the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to drag the custom volume bar there. My microphone comes off really low in some of my YouTube videos. So the first thing I do, I usually increase my volume anywhere from like five to 10 decibels, depending on the output. And I do this first because that way, if I do any cropping, I can zoom out of my video. If I do any cropping, all of my volume is going to be consistent across any of the cuts that I do, but I will zoom back in. I now have the first thing I want to do, I may want to cut the dead space at the beginning of my video. So I will take the razor. You can do this with the hotkey, but for now I'm just using my mouse. I'm already, I've already listened to this. I have my microphone muted so you don't hear the audio that I'm recording and editing. I've listened to the audio, I've deleted it, and I'm going to just remove that. I'm now going to move everything over to the left. And now that you've watched my video, this is the very opening video, I'm not doing any introduction, but I do want to have a fade in so you can see at the top left, there is, when you click it, there is a tiny little arrow that appears, and then in the volume at the bottom, there is also another tiny little arrow that appears. And when you select it and you drag it to the right, there's kind of like a shadow, like an upside down triangle that you can see. And that way the volume will kind of warm up as you watch the video. And I will make that like intro bigger just for this video so you can see it when I play the video. So I don't know if you saw that, like it kind of faded in from black to white. You can add a title and things going through. I like most of the video. I don't want to crop it too much. I will, maybe there is another piece of the video that I want to crop out. I don't like this part, so I already know what's there. So I'm just going to crop that, move these pieces back together. Zoom out. This is a second piece that I have. And I will do the same effect. I will do like a fade out at the end. I will do a fade out there with that video. And if you want to go back and maybe add an image to this video, I will add that to my effects library. I just dragged and dropped that there. Where would a good place for me to put this? I'll put that on top as a new video row. Play that. I'm going to stop. I'm now going to the metadata, which is on top of me. I'm now going to go to the transform position and this is the y oops that's not what i wanted well i'm going to zoom out first and so that's the zoom y and then position y i'm going to move that down maybe i'm going to move it to the bottom left so this is me adding an image, I press the inspector, transform, and then that is done. It's going to be in the same spot for the part of the video. I'm 
and that is going to be back. If you wanted to add a title on the left side, tiles under the toolbar, do I want to add a basic title? Let's just go to the beginning where I'd want to have a title. Basic title, put drag that on top. Subscribe to our channel. That looks cute. Maybe you want to move that as a separate image and then fade into that. Or you may want to have that text be on top. So you can go. Once you have added your text to your overlay, whether it's a title or any type of text, now enter in what you want to do with the inspector. Type it, customize some of your positioning or zooming in with the X and the Y. Scroll down, you can also change so the text has a zoom effect. You can zoom in a lot more. Speed change, there's a lot that you can play with, but for this video, let's keep it very short. You can type in your text, position it how you like, and then when you press the play button, the black background of the text should subside and it should be transparent over your video. And you can add lots of text to different parts if you want to do titles, chapters, subtitles, captions, if you forgot that you wanted to add something. Anyways, what you can do with this is absolutely endless, but let's just keep on watching the rest of the video. And now that that video has been done editing, all you need to do is press the deliver at the bottom right corner. Oh wait, I forgot something. I'm going to zoom out I'm in the edit tab, zoom out. I'm gonna make sure that I didn't move anything out of place, that's now fine. Go to deliver. I'm going to save this for YouTube. So at the top left, I'm going to put YouTube, how to edit YouTube video. I'm going to browse. I'm going to save it in my videos folder. The file type seems to be standard. Upload it directly to YouTube if you want to. Add render to Q, and then press render all and the video will save to your computer files. And it is pretty much that simple. And this took me less than 10 minutes to import a video that I've saved, add a title, add pictures to it, cut out some dead space in the video that I didn't like, and add audio transitions that make it a little bit softer to hear. And then as the video goes on, there's a lot more that you can do with this video, but this is a great introductory to how to use this program. And I hope it helps. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of this content or if you want to support me on my Patreon journey, the link is in the channel below. And with that, you get early access to a lot of the content on my channel before it goes live for the rest of YouTube and as well as behind the scenes content and a little bit more. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. And of course, the patrons of the month will be listed at the end of this video. So keep on watching.